think I might shave this. We have started going through, I'm looking around at all the mess. We started going through boxes to work out what we're gonna keep and what we're not. Kitchen looks like a disaster zone. <laughs> but I found so many funny things. Things from like my old um, company, like personality profiling and things like that, which is quite funny. <laughs> uh, I, I, do you know what, I might read it out um, in a few days, because it is, it is funny, it is really funny. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I think I should sort this out. Wish me luck in sorting out my beard. How do I do this? Do I? I don't even know I'm going to catch the hair. I didn't think this through, did I? Oh, let's see what I look like. Being a guy, there's only one thing you can do when you have a shave, and that's to go for all the different, uh, <laughs> different type of looks. It's about colder. But better. What do you think? With beard, without beard. Done. Oh, I actually look like me. <laughs> you know, like when you have a projection in your head of what you look like. Now I look like me. I wonder if this food is now ready, because that's obviously all I ever do, is talk about food. Um, before I check that, I'm gonna go over what my, um, not, new, not New Year's resolutions, um, things I'm gonna keep myself accountable for this year. So I might do a um, video about that, possibly tomorrow. I also found this document that was from an old company that I worked at about my personality, which is quite funny. So I might read that, that would be quite a funny film. Um, and I've been asked quite a lot of, to go over, I've got hair on my lip, um, about a lot of the things that I've done um, to fight my, um, Aspergillosis and sarcoidosis. So I had people find me on Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn. Um, so I might do a video going over everything. Um, obviously I take medication and that, that plays a massive part and I probably wouldn't be here without it. Um, but there are thing, extra things that I've done um, that I hope have um, uh, at least aided um, a little bit. So yes, yeah, so I might do that anyway food with my fresh skin. Well, I'm not freshly clean shaved because I've still got stubble, but um, also it means Christmas beer's gone. Christmas tree needs to go. It's time it goes. Good morning, you wonderful people. Today is the day I sort out all of this stuff which we've been unboxing, working out what we're gonna get rid of, what we're going to put on eBay, what we're gonna bin, what we're gonna give to charity. Um, because there's loads, look, and in there behind me, there's boxes everywhere. I hate clutter. I'm a bit of a hoarder, but I hate clutter. Can't stand it. I like a minimalist lifestyle, plus it's easier to keep clean. Anyway, right, hope you're well, having a good day. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I get good internet today, which means I can get back to um, more regular uploads. Yeah, it is an excuse. <laughs> but it's a valid excuse. Um, some videos I tried to upload, it said 99 hours to upload, so I was just like, I can't, and that, and that's, you get 20 hours into when it crashes, so. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. And I hope you're all well. Also, how many of you prefer the clean shaven Stuart? Yes, I think we all agree. So I've cleared up some of the boxes. Um, but I've still got loads to do. Loads to do. It's like never ending. Would someone like to come and buy all my stuff off me that I don't use? <laughs> that would be quite, uh, quite helpful. On the plus side, internet is fully working now. Um, it's, it's so amazing how much you rely on the internet. So I've spent most of the day logging every electronic item I've got. Um, 
into on, on into <laughs> I'll spend most of the day <laughs> um, going into all my electrical things that connect to the Wi-Fi changing them to a new hub new passwords I now know the password off by heart um, but there's so many things you don't even think about that you've set up in the past why have I gone all blurry better um, but yeah, that you set up in the past, you know, even this camera, this camera connects to the Wi-Fi. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, done that. So I've got internet now. I'm looking forward to that. Um, means I can do more work from home, more, um, more videos. I need to test these. Um, I don't know if you can see them. Um, are they focusing? So these, so these are, um, they're called, so they're called woody nose and they're flexible natural shape for seal comfort and fit, super defense nasal filters. So they are filters which go down to 2.5 microns, which you put in your nose to as a filter like a normal air filter for pollen mold spores um even reckons gases i'm not quite sure about gases um obviously dust dander don't have any pets so that's not a problem um and air pollution particles i'm not even opened them yet uh, i'm gonna have to do a video on them i'm gonna have to go out with them for a day or something and just <laughs> I can only imagine like, like you push them up your nose. That just seems mental. Because it's not really a picture of someone wearing them. Um, apparently it gives you immediate relief. Discreet invisible design. We, we will be the judge of this. Uh, I'm going to say they're not discreet. Or invisible. Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna look crazy. So yeah, so now for loads of uh, loads of films. Yes, the Christmas tree is behind me still. You know, it looks tiny on camera. It, it's not. It's six foot, but it looks it looks did it. Um, so I can do loads more films now, not just for work, but also on this. Um, I can work from home a lot more. Um, oh, I can't even explain how important it is to to, to have. A decent internet connection my whole business relies on internet my whole business um, even just marketing and social media and that type of stuff and I was spending a fortune using my my phone uh, I did have internet so I could that I could download um, it was just uploading stuff um, and, and when I save everything I'm boring you basically everything I've got was saved in the cloud so it was just becoming a nightmare uh, Oh, Christmas presents. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got internet. Win. Now I've got an urge for a sandwich. So I'm going to go to the shop and get supplies. Namely bread. Which is the main thing you need when making a sandwich. <sighs> oh. It is cold. Like really cold. Oh, not just a little bit cold. Really cold. <sighs> I do love the little air filter I've got and the colours. Um, it's just cycling through now. But there you go green. So green means perfect, perfect air quality. I'm not sure if you can see me because it's pitch black in it. A different Tesco's this time. There are so many Tesco's where I live, it's, the place should be called Tesco's. Or Tesco, sorry, it's not this on the end. Everyone always says Tesco's, but it's Tesco. I 
keep saying this, and I need to keep saying it until I force us to do it. I need to get fitter. I really do. It's easy when you've got a lung condition to just sort of accept it. And just like this is how my lungs are now. But all I've done is walked around Tesco's and I'm out of breath. And a part of that is clearly fitness. Yeah. Even just going for a walk more. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> you know, on the end of your nose, it's just cold. It's that cold. But I've got everything I need to make an epic sandwich. I make the best sandwiches. I was going to open a sandwich shop when I was younger. Still think I should. Because it's a great idea what I've got. It's a really good idea. Clearly, if I was making sandwiches, but there's a twist to it. <laughs> Everyone has the idea of making sandwiches, that's easy. So I just drove past the cabinet, like the BT exchange cabinet, and Julian said they were digging it up, which is, sorry, I'm putting it back now, which is clearly for, for us. And uh, yeah, the whole road's dug up. <laughs> and uh, sorry, peeps, that's true. That's for us to get in there. See, look, look how messy it is back there. Need to sort that. Anyway, time for an epic sandwich. Mm -hmm. 